Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There are over 48,000 aircrafts in the world, but very few have managed to rule the skies, and among them stands the legendary MiG-25 Foxbat. It is a marvel of Soviet engineering that pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible in the skies. Born in the crucible of the Cold War, the Foxbat showed the world that it is more than a fighter jet. At a time when nuclear war loomed like a dark cloud, it represented the USSR's ability to strike swiftly and decisively. But the Fox Bat was hidden in a veil of misinformation and disinformation. Western intelligence scrambled to piece together the truth about this enigmatic aircraft, feeding the flames of fear and fascination. Join us as we will peel back the layers to reveal the true story of the MiG-25 Fox Bat. During the 1960s, when the US and USSR locked horns in a race for aerial supremacy, the Soviet Air Force found itself in a pickle. They were worried about American bombers like the B-70 Valkyrie, which flew high and fast, posing a threat to Soviet territory. To counter this, the Soviets needed a super-fast interceptor aircraft that could chase down these bombers and stop them in their tracks. This is where the story of the MiG-25 Foxbat begins. The Soviet engineers at the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau got to work on a top-secret project known as Yi-150. However, they faced a challenge of how to make a plane that could fly really fast using the technology available at the time. They came up with some clever ideas. Instead of using traditional materials, they built the plane out of heavy but heat-resistant stainless steel, which was crucial for flying at high speeds. They also used powerful turbojet engines that were thirsty for fuel, but could propel the plane at incredible speeds. To handle the thirst of the engines, they even designed the plane to be able to dump fuel quickly for rapid ascents. But the Foxbat wasn't just about speed, it had a trick up its sleeve. Besides being an interceptor, it could also be used for reconnaissance. Some versions of the Foxbat were equipped with powerful cameras and radars, allowing the Soviets to spy on their enemies from high altitudes. This made the Foxbat a dual-purpose aircraft, adding to its mystique and making it even more impressive. Then, in 1976, something extraordinary happened. A Soviet pilot named Viktor Belenko defected to Japan, flying his MiG-25 Foxbat there. This was a big deal because it gave the Western world a close look at the plane's technology, which had been a closely guarded secret until then. This event changed the course of the Cold War arms race, as Western intelligence agencies learned a lot from the captured plane. What they found was that the MiG-25 Foxbat was one of the fastest production fighter jets in the world for more than 30 years, reaching an incredible speed of Mach 3.2, which is over 2,500 miles per hour. This incredible speed allowed it to intercept high-flying bombers like the B-70 Valkyrie before they could reach their targets. One of the reasons for its speed and toughness was its construction using primarily titanium, a strong and heat-resistant metal. This gave the Foxbat its distinctive silver appearance and earned it the nickname the Beast of the East. Its distinctive features included sharp, swept-back wings that resembled a predator's talons, which helped it achieve high speeds while minimizing air resistance. These wings also housed long-range air-to-air missiles for attacking enemy aircraft. The aircraft's delta wing design provided stability at its top speed of Mach 2.3, but it made the Foxbat challenging to handle at low speeds. Despite this drawback, the Foxbat's speed and stability made it a formidable opponent in the air, especially against slower enemy aircraft. The Foxbat could climb to an astonishing altitude of over 80,000 feet, which put it above the range of most radars and missiles. This made it a formidable opponent for any aircraft entering Soviet airspace. Despite being known for its speed, the Foxbat was more than just a fast plane. It was equipped with powerful radar and long-range missiles, making it an effective interceptor. Later versions were even used for reconnaissance, carrying advanced cameras and sensors. Its primary air-to-air -air weapons were the R-40 long-range missiles, which had a range of over 60 miles and a speed exceeding Mach 4.5. These missiles were designed to take down high-altitude bombers like the B-70 Valkyrie. For closer encounters, the Foxbat carried R-60 short-range missiles, which were agile and heat-seeking, ideal for engaging enemy fighters within a range of about 5 miles. It also had a GSH-23 twin-barrel cannon firing 23mm rounds at a rate of over 2,000 rounds per minute for situations where missiles were not suitable. In addition to its offensive capabilities, the Foxbat's reconnaissance variants were equipped with advanced sensors, including high-resolution cameras and powerful radars, which provided detailed information on enemy territory and aircraft movements. This information was crucial for Soviet military planning. 
The Foxbat's design was innovative for its time, using titanium and advanced technology that influenced the development of future fighter jets both in the Soviet Union and the West. In the context of the Cold War, the MiG-25 Foxbat played a crucial role in deterrence and showcased technological prowess rather than engaging in flashy dogfights or shooting down enemy jets. It was also known for its spying capabilities rather than combat use. Instead of shooting enemies, it excelled at gathering intelligence. Equipped with advanced cameras and radar, it could see far into NATO territory, tracking bomber movements and mapping military bases. This allowed the Soviet Union to stay informed about NATO activities, keeping the Western countries on edge. The Foxbat's spying abilities were significant because they forced NATO to change its strategies and develop new ways to defend against the aircraft's surveillance. This constant surveillance made NATO feel like it was always being watched by the Foxbat, which was unsettling. However, the Foxbat's impact wasn't just about keeping the Soviets ahead in intelligence. It also drove technological progress in aviation. To keep up with the Foxbat, the West had to innovate, leading to the development of faster planes, better radars, and more advanced ways to protect against espionage. This competition led to advancements that benefited aviation overall, making aircraft safer, faster, and more efficient, and shaping modern aviation technology. The MiG-31 is the successor to the MiG-25. It inherited the high-speed and long-range interceptor capabilities of its predecessor, but featured more advanced avionics and radar systems. Although not directly based on the MiG-25, the F-15's development was influenced by the need to counter the perceived threat posed by the Foxbat. The F-15's high-speed performance, maneuverability, and powerful armament made it a formidable opponent to the MiG-25. Moreover, the Mirage F-1 was designed as a multi-role fighter aircraft, but shared some design elements with the MiG-25, such as its delta wing design and high-speed capabilities. It saw extensive combat service in various conflicts around the world. Besides this, the Lightning was a British interceptor aircraft that predated the MiG-25, but shared some design similarities, including swept-back delta wings and high speed. It served the Royal Air Force with distinction for many years. The MiG-25 is still being used in various countries worldwide. Despite its age, it's being upgraded with modern technology to remain effective in the 21st century. Algeria is one of the countries modernizing its MiG-25 fleet. They're using a program called RDM-25 to upgrade their jets with advanced Israeli radar and electronic systems. These upgrades improve the jet's ability to detect and track modern threats. They're also enhancing the jet's navigation and communication systems for better mission effectiveness. India's MiG-25 fleet, known as the Foxbat, is also undergoing upgrades. The Indian Air Force is focusing on improving the jet's avionics and weapon systems. They're adding new digital displays in the cockpit and advanced radars for all weather operations. Upgraded weapons, like long-range air-to-air missiles, are also being integrated to enhance the jet's combat capabilities. Former Warsaw Pact nations, like Bulgaria, are also upgrading their MiG-25s. Bulgaria is working with Israel to improve their jet's defensive capabilities. They're adding advanced radar warning receivers and electronic countermeasure systems to protect the jets from enemy radar and missiles. These modernization programs face challenges, like the complexity and cost of integrating new technology into old aircraft. There are also concerns about getting spare parts and maintaining these aging jets in the long run. However, despite these challenges, the MiG-25 remains attractive for nations looking for a cost-effective option for air defense. Its speed, powerful engines, and weaponry make it a valuable asset. The ongoing upgrades show that the MiG-25 still has a place in modern air forces, proving that some machines, no matter their age, can still be relevant and effective. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.